Uh, hi, I'm uh, Fred Wolf uh, from the National Data Bank for Rheumatic Diseases, and I'm here at this meeting to uh, present several papers, one of which is uh, uh, about the DSM-5, uh, somatoform disorders and uh, fibromyalgia. Uh, in the study that we uh, conducted, we tried to find evidence as to whether or not fibromyalgia should be considered a somatoform disorder that is one in which uh, symptoms were the most prominent, or a pain disorder, as has been uh, uh, suggested by, by many others. And we applied a, uh, a standardized questionnaire, the PHQ-15, and measured the level of somatization in people with fibromyalgia and found out that uh, uh, about 89% satisfied the criteria for somatization. Uh, the new DSM-5 criteria defines a, 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 a somatic symptom disorder uh, as being a mental illness, a mental disease, uh, uh, and it is characterized by having multiple symptoms uh, and having, a, having the symptoms to be disproportionate uh, uh, to the severity uh, professed by the patient. Uh, or to consume uh, uh, resources and time or anxiety. And so a patient who was had, uh, let's say, uh, 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 fibromyalgia and had a pain score of 10 might be considered by some to have a uh, 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 satisfy the DSM-5 criteria. There's been great uh, concern that so many people would satisfy this criteria, that people with rheumatoid arthritis and other illnesses would. So we looked at rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia, found that about 30% of uh, people with fibromyalgia might satisfy the criteria. In the end, it all depended on whether physicians believed patients. Uh, and from what we know from previous studies it, is that it's very difficult to, to know, uh, to, to try to guess whether the patient is telling the truth. In fact, it's, it's a, almost a meaningless sort of thing. The conclusion that we drew from this study was that, was that the, uh, the DSM-5 in patients with rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia lacked face validity. Uh, and probably should not be used, did not seem uh, valid, uh, and uh, there was no way that it could be properly applied.